The midterm elections are quickly approaching and political candidates throughout New Jersey are racing to get out the vote. Students at Rowan University hosted a rally today as candidates tried to drum up support from young voters. Our Natasha Brown reports. <laughs> With the midterm elections one week away, New Jersey Democrats and Republicans are canvassing the state, hoping to get out the vote. Here at Rowan University, the day began with a round table with students and veterans. Then the Rowan Democrats organization hosted its first campus-wide get-out-the-vote rally, with Democratic New Jersey Congressman Donald Norcross and Senator Cory Booker firing up the crowd. There is something wrong with the leadership in this country, and in a week from now, you're going to be able to change it. Political candidates, not just in New Jersey, but around the country, are hoping to capitalize on the youth vote, wanting to energize a base that seems more engaged in the political process now than ever before. Both Congressman Norcross, who's running for re-election, and Senator Booker touched on hot-button issues like soaring student loan debt and youth activism. The idea of that next generation going to college and trying to graduate without $100,000 of debt. Everyone in this crowd knows what that debt feels like, but we won't change it. It's the most important midterm election of, of the last 50 plus years in this country, and there's an urgency to this moment. Uh, all of us should understand that we need to get out of the vote. Senator Booker, just days after being one of several prominent Democrats to receive suspicious packages containing pipe bombs, chose to steer clear of fiery partisan rhetoric, instead focusing on firing up this young crowd to vote. To me, this is not a time in America where we need to point fingers of blame. This is a moment in America where we all need to accept responsibility. While Norcross brought heavy hitters like Senator Booker to boost the crowd, his Republican challenger Paul Dilks says he's doing the legwork as the underdog in the race to gain voters in the 1st Congressional District of New Jersey. I want to make people aware there is a viable choice for this district who puts the rep who represents this district first. Well, it is the final push toward the midterm elections on November 6th. Of course, we will be following all of the key races throughout the Delaware Valley and the tri-state area. And we'll have full coverage on Eyewitness News on election night. So we'll be watching closely, guys. Indeed. Coming up, here we go.